Hey everybody, this is Nick from 420expertguide.com and right now I'm about to do a intensity test, light intensity test on this Mars Hydro TSL 2000 LED grow light. This grow light is ideal for a 2x4 grow tent but I think you can even stretch it to um, I'd say 3x4 maybe three by four and a half, just based on the pretty strong intensity readings that I'm getting out of this thing. And you won't be able to do that with other grow lights out there, but the way this one is designed and put together, it's pretty solid. So let's get to it. We're gonna be using this Lux meter, and then um, we're gonna take the Lux reading and we're gonna plug it into an online conversion calculator and that'll give you a rough idea of how many micromoles or PPFD the light is putting out. Okay, so um, not sure if I can get the camera to focus on this tape measure, but 18 inches is right about here. So, let's see what we're getting. And we're getting right about 38,000 lux, 40,000 lux, still at 18 inches there, 40,000, 41,000. All the way in the back here, uh, yeah, it's a little too hard to see there, but right about, 35,000 lux there, 34,000 lux, which is quite strong um, for the edge of the tent and still really good in terms of what you need to grow cannabis. Um, sorry, it's 18 inches there. Let's go to the side of the tent and you can see we're about 28, 29, 30,000 lux still on the side of the tent. So we're going to say 40 in the center and 30 on the side. That's at an 18 inch height. So this is the height you would use for um, flowering. When you're in the vegetative phase, you're going to want to um, hang the light a little bit higher because the plants are exposed to the light for an extra six hours a day, um, sometimes even longer. But um, So you're going to want to lessen up on that intensity. But during the flowering phase, you can do 18 inches. Um, okay, so let's go plug in these numbers and see how they turn out. Hey everybody, so here we are at the Lux to PPFD online calculator, and I will put the link for this website in the description of the YouTube video. So, first thing you're going to want to do when you get to this calculator is select your light source. So with the Mars Hydro and with a lot of other LED grow lights, it's going to be red plus blue plus white, and then you're going to come up here and enter your Lux reading. So under the center of the light, in the center of the tent, we got about 40,000. And then we're gonna come down and press calculate and it's gonna to convert to PPFD. All right, so about 1,027, call it 1,000 micromoles, right in the center at 18 inches um, under the light. And on the sides of the tent, we were getting about 30,000 lux. So uh, this is in the back corner and the sides of the tent, we were getting 30,000. Whoops, let's just change this to 30. Okay, so let's see what we get now at 30,000. 770, that's still like quite good um, as far as growing cannabis goes. So. And this is why I really like this light, the Mars Hydro TSL 2000. Um, great light for 2x4 for growing cannabis. 
and it's dimmable and the intensity is there for the whole tent, even the corners and the sides. So that's why I really like that, that grow light. Um, so let's go into a little bit more detail about this calculator. This is what I recommend to everybody who's trying to figure out what height to hang their light or how strong their light is. So waveform lighting, um, that's the company, was able to put this calculator together just using a few assumptions about lighting. And um, they say it's, it's a pretty accurate rough estimate, um, but definitely useful. Um, and it's, you can download a lux meter on your smartphone if you have a up-to-date modern smartphone. Otherwise, you can get one of these meters here for about 20 bucks, and um, then just come here and plug it in. And that's instead of buying the $600 PAR meter on, uh, on the internet. So this is really a great option in my opinion. And even if it's off by 10%, it's still not bad. You get a good rough idea of how strong your light is and if you need to lower it or raise it. So for those of you who don't know um, what your ideal micromoles uh, level should be, so during flowering, you can go up pretty high. I would say, I would say 1200 micromoles, but you're gonna get a really strong yield like with anything over 900, 800. I saw one study that went all the way up to 1500, but I mean, that seems a bit strong. Um, so that's for flowering. And then for veg, you are gonna want it to be a little bit weaker because the plants are exposed to light for a lot longer. So for veg, you're probably gonna want no more than uh, 600 micromoles. And so you can achieve that by raising your light a little bit higher. I'd say go from 18 inches to, again, it depends on what specific light you're using, but you could go from probably 18 to 24 inches um, or just add six inches to whatever your current height is from where you're getting 800 micromoles. Um, and then you'll lower the intensity a decent amount. Like I said, don't be afraid to go buy one of these and just do this yourself. Um, it's only going to cost you 15 or 20 bucks and then you can get pretty accurate with it. But yeah, that's the whole idea. And then for seedlings, um, you can, you're going to want to stay around 200 to 250 micromoles. All right, and that's it, everybody. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to visit my website. That's 420expertguide.com. I have a live chat if you have any questions about growing or any questions about grow lights in general or other growing equipment. Feel free to stop by and ask a question in the live chat. Thanks.